Hello everybody, so Peter here down in the old man shed. Uh, not going to be making a train video as such, although I've got the trains running. And uh, I'll put the sand on later when I finish talking to you. I just want to explain to you what I've been doing on the old layout. Uh, and also trying to get the grips with this uh, video camera. Um, I've got the white balance on manual now because uh, on auto, with this camera you stop and start recordings, there's no pausing. Uh, you have to you start the recording, then you stop the recording, then you start a new recording, and then put all the clips together into software on the old uh, on the computer. But uh, I was noticing that there was a slight color change uh, depending when I started the recording, depending which way the camera was facing, it would get one sort of color, and uh, on the next recording, if the camera was facing in the opposite direction, it would come up with another colour, you know, sort of like what they call a warm effect or a cool effect and it's nothing to do with the lighting because it's the same lighting, nothing's changed. So I think I've got to grips with it now by uh, taking off the auto function so everything else on the camera is automatic, the focusing and one thing and another but the um, what we call the white balance I've put onto manual, calibrated it and the beauty of that is that when you stop recording it still remembers a setting for the next time you start recording so hopefully this is now looking a lot better so yes I've got trains running but really what I want to do is just tell you this, this, the little bits and pieces I've been doing for the detailing of the, uh, the layout there's still more small pieces to come have been uh, on the internet and uh, these, these companies that make these uh, little bits and pieces to add to the uh, scenery I've been picking them up uh, but what what I want to talk to you is about the cars so let's have a look okay so a few videos back I was saying about how in all the uh, all my engines they've got drivers fitted uh, back ones obviously come with drivers already fitted uh, I fitted the driver inside the class 68 by Dapol and I've also put uh, drivers in the Hornby engines, the class 60s and 67s. And uh, when I said that at the time, I said uh, all my vehicles on the layout, they're all parked because uh, what I didn't like was the idea they didn't have drivers. So, and I thought um, you couldn't put drivers in. So they was all parked up. And then guess what? I went and had a closer look at the Oxford vehicle and uh, can't put drivers in no. well there you go of course you can just an idiot just hadn't bothered to look um, two screws and the chassis comes off and then you can remove the cab interior so which comes down the seats and the dashboard normally comes down together but certainly it's all there nice and open for you ready to fit a figure and the figures in question is uh, these these ones by knock uh, there we are lorry drivers and co-drivers there were six of them so I've got one I fitted in there and he's uh, they, they they're eight they're HO scale so if you were to see them against the uh, the scene craft Backman uh, OOs they're obviously a lot bigger but uh, because they're fitted in vehicles it doesn't look too bad you get you can get away with it uh, they don't have complete set of legs, they stop at the knees, so that makes it very easy to fit them into the seats of the uh, cab interiors. And in my case I've used a bit of black tack, so they're not in there permanently, they could be removed at a later date if I wanted to. Uh, so that's that particular one there, and so at long last I can have uh, a sort of movement of vehicles now, they don't all have to have be parked. So this one's coming across the bridge, can come down at the layout and there's already one there's a queue there so there's another one fitted in there and uh, further down city link yeah there's a figure fitted in there who's being spoken to by the uh, site engineer at the moment just checking uh, that his parts have arrived checking them off of the list and there's the mr backman foreman just making sure that everybody's doing their job so yes, that's great. Now let's see, where's the other ones? Right, we have another driver fitted into the uh, network rail van there, delivering chemical containers or taking them away, one or the other, not sure what, whilst those two guys 
decide what to put on the forklift truck next. Guy in front, he's doing his barrels. Uh, what's happening on the old pump? Well, I'm moving an oil tank, or an oil drum there. So, but that's it. So that's another car we've got the figure put in. Uh, where's the other ones? Let's have a look. Right, and I think uh, one of the last ones maybe is in the uh, the AA van there that's just leaving the top site. And uh, oh, I think he's on a mobile phone. Oh dear. Well, luckily for him, there's no police on this layout. Well, not that yet. There's not. So uh, he's got away with it for now. Um, what else were you looking at then? Uh, so yeah, the little cameos there. So we got the uh, Royal Mail guys there chatting away, doing something rather. Um, the, the parcels that's in the carriers there. There, that scale model scenery, laser cut uh, paper contains about 20 different uh, sizes of parcels to make up as you can see so rather than those containers being empty uh, they've got parcels in them and I can see one has been carefully placed so that must be the one that was marked fragile <laughs> oh dear how my mind works eh but there you are so uh, let's see give you a rundown so we've got businessmen having a little conflab up there uh, we got the mechanics working on the uh, Volkswagen, the classic Beetle, probably getting it ready for a show, I don't know. Scale model scenery, again, the uh, Haldins. And uh, that building, guys, the uh, DPD building, is a wheels kit. Um, and it's the same kit as the, the one that is my depot uh, storage warehouse, which is that one, which I painted, obviously. That's the wheels kit, and uh, there it's built in its entirety. You can make it as a low relief. Uh, the, the the model sort of cuts in half if you want it, so you can have it side by side to give you the width instead of having it as a one uh, structure as I've got. Uh, but that's that's the wheels kit, and it's exactly the same kit as the uh, DPD one. But of course, the DPD is uh, molded in the white and red plastic um, I think they had grey roof but I painted the roof anyway um, also it comes with um, print on printed card you can have uh, images that go behind the windows so it looks like offices there's pictures of computers and things and behind the door which I've got shut you could have had again a, re um, a picture stuck there which I've actually put in uh, behind the uh, post office depot so in those open portals there are those printed pictures of what looks, what looks to be a warehouse so it gives it a bit of 3D can't see it too well unfortunately with the camera and that as you can see this that is a scene craft low relief depot uh, of which I've added to made it deeper because I was finding that uh, when I went to use it as it was it kept on falling forward uh, it wouldn't balance properly uh, and uh, it's a resin, you know, quite a heavy resin uh, building so if you did have the wagons in front of it like you see it there if it kept on, it would kept on falling onto them and uh, you'll end up chipping the paint so I elected to add uh, a back into it and made it a bit more 3D and that's it so it's and it's obviously got a depth so that when those uh, those open doors there is a depth behind it because there is the pictures so that's uh, that's what that's all about right so uh, now that, as I said to you I'm starting to fill it up again with the locos start getting them down although the uh, the Drax class 60 is stuck there a little bit at the moment because until those uh, workmen finish the job there on the track he can't move out so uh, he's stuck there at the moment but uh, yeah getting some bits and pieces down so as I say adding little bits so there's that scene there and uh, oh, we, what we've got going on there so the engineers are having a having a meeting get together discussing what they're going to do for the day uh, chat there talking to the guy getting some tools from the toolbox and uh, yeah as I say the vehicles coming down from the bridge 
up against the old security barrier and that one on there so yeah great and the workmen of course working away on those on that track at the back there um, now the inside I'm going to um, get lighting for the shed um, because I've got some details in there and I'll show you what I've got so I'll take I'll remove that so you can see what's underneath okay so with the engine shed removed that's what she looks like never seen the uh, the whole of the uh, hard standing before but I did it all the way right to the very end and put the buffers in uh, there are the backman uh, lifting jacks uh, which obviously once the engine sheds back on you can't see but I hope to uh, put lights in it one day and there behind uh, the stores warehouse if you remember when I said about the uh, laser cut the old uh, the mast there I said I made a little uh, the hut and I wasn't really you know enamored with it well hold on well there you are uh, once again Backman Scene Craft they actually do make this little uh, telecommunications uh, hut which uh, fits purposely you know the uh, the mast so great even nice little air conditioning units on the end there so rather than that a little flimsy card kit I've got myself to the uh, my favorite resin model now so that looks good so there it is in place behind the uh, the stores warehouse office but of course once again uh, when the engine shed goes back on you can't see it because it's where it is but uh, at least you know it's there now in the engine shed itself um, again good old scale model scenery to the rescue again these little things you create with a little racking system I just stuck with card glue to the edge of the inside of the uh, engine shed those uh, bread cabinets they've got gas bottles inside them you know for the uh, welders and things and also with the kits what I've yet to do um, it even comes with uh, the man sort of thing of as you guards putting calendars up and um, there's even pictures of uh, tool kits you know that you have hanging on walls you know uh, so that's got to go onto the walls but uh, that's all you know nice little extra detail but you won't see until I get a light in there but I'm getting it in place ready so that's a future project and then still on the subject of what's inside the engine shed these little benches uh, there's two woodworking benches and there's two uh, metalworking benches so uh, they've all got their little vices on there painted up again to go into the engine shed so that uh, they've got all the equipment so that's something else to be done right so uh, everything's back in place now put everything back uh, so as I say yes I've got to put some lights I will get some lights for that uh, engine shed so just got the trains running for a finish a little look around the lay layouts um, what we've got going on there uh, two people discussing whether or not maybe to get the evening star out or not I don't <laughs> oh dear must possibly my favorite view of the layout looking at the uh, the track there quite like that to finish I will put uh, the sound on and you'll we'll just watch the trains going around for a few times um, hello to all new subscribers uh, it's grown a lot thank you very much I uh, hope you like what you're seeing um, just uh, the, the layout in case you don't know is uh, seven foot seven foot by four um, it's all using Holmby set track for the so uh, prove, just to prove to you that the Hornby product you know does work does do does do well Zoom out. And as you can see, uh, I'm pleased to say it's running very well. But thank you very much for watching and uh, subscribing to my channel. Um, just hope you stick with me see what other bits and pieces I can come up with
but uh, I was quite, you know, very happy to be able to find that, yeah, you can put figures inside these uh, cars. And I've got uh, another little set of figures. The, uh, the new Class 66 that's been developed by Hattons. It's a beautifully, uh, you know, detailed model, but uh, what have they done? They've, they've not put a driver in. So one of the first things I'm going to have to do, hopefully when I get my hands on one, is uh, I've got to take that body shell off. And they, they say it's easy, but other people on YouTube say no, it's not. So, But you can't have all that detail and not have a driver in it. So I sent off for uh, this company's one. So here we are again. Uh, who's that one? I don't know how you say that. So that's the other well-known HO ma uh, model manufacturer. These are DB Schenker drivers, believe it or not. So again, they're a little bit smaller than the Batman figures, but um, once they're inside the old cab, uh, what does it say? Does it say on there, DB, yeah, electric locomotive drivers. There we are, seated. And they've also got their little uh, bags with them as well. So that's what I'll do to fit in the old driver there because uh, certainly when you've got cab lights and things like that they, they say how much detail is in there well stick a flipping driver in there it seems silly but that's one of my projects that's going to have to be uh, right so let's get the controller let's turn the old sands on and knock the camera sorry about that so what we got Yeah. Well, there we are. Okay, guys, so I'm going to sign off. Thanks for sticking with it for so long. And uh, hope this, you know, give you some ideas. But I'm very happy to say that everything uh, is running quite nicely now. Still storms to come, evidently, this weekend. More wind and rain. Oh, God, it hasn't stopped, has it? But the layout seems to be running well. Well, I know it's running well. <laughs> and uh, before I finally sign off, looking at this rate of uh, wagons going around, the fact that I have to keep on taking them off, you know, when I want to put a different uh, rate of carriages, uh, wagons on there. Um, Alan from uh, Alan at Dragon Junction, uh, for sure, those uh, couplings that you uh, showed off on your last videos I absolutely will be uh, getting those because they would suit me down to the ground because uh, you know keep putting these wagons up I don't have a fiddle fiddle yard on this layout so I've got to keep on removing the wagons on and off and uh, yeah you know they've got the normal couplings with the NEM coupling so those magnetic ones would absolutely suit me down to the ground so thanks very much Alan for uh, road testing them and uh, confirming that they will be okay. As soon as those, uh, as soon as that company's got some in production, they're catching up now because they must have quite a few orders. I will uh, definitely be putting my uh, a few orders in because uh, I'm not worried about um, which 
you know, having the rakes uh, fixed as regards, uh, you know, the plus and the minus of the magnet, that doesn't worry me. I don't uh, do any shunting and uncoupling of wagons, so again, that doesn't bother me, the fact that uh, you wouldn't be able to do that sort of thing. I just literally want ease of taking my wagons on and off my layer and coupling up quickly and uh, decoupling them quickly and uh, that uh, that product would suit me down to the ground. So, uh, yeah. When they get their, they're getting their finger out and uh, producing them, I hope. Well, I'm sure they are because I think we've got a lot of orders. There's a, quite a few of people like myself waiting to order them. So, yeah. So thanks to you, Adam, for reviewing the products and uh, I will definitely be getting some. Close coupling as well, so it would make the, uh, it'd give a better look as well. And I think it, I'll close couple the uh, network rail wagons be together before and uh, they do get round the second radius so I've got second and third radius curves there and it did go round without any buffer lock but that was pulling it was a different story if you was pushing but uh, as you say though with those magnetic ones they can push and pull so can't wait Right, signing off everybody, uh, so thank you for watching and uh, well, hopefully uh, see you soon, carry on modelling, enjoy your modelling, enjoy our hobby and uh, thanks for looking in. Bye everybody, bye bye.